What is up guys, Delboy here. So, WBC champion Deontay Wilder and lineal heavyweight champion Tyson Fury fight to an entertaining draw. A lot of controversy in regards to the scorecards. The vast majority of people felt Tyson Fury won and he was very hard done by in regards to not winning the fight. I will get onto that in a minute, but uh, yeah, credit to both guys. I felt they put on a good show. And, you know, I found this fight very entertaining. In fact, I actually found this fight more entertaining than uh, Klitschko Joshua, to be quite honest. I felt this fight was very good. And, yeah, it had me at the edge of my seat throughout the whole 12 rounds. I felt Tyson Fury started really well in this fight. He was just being Tyson Fury. He was herky-jerky. Um, you know, he was slipping and sliding. He was active with his jab, you know, he kind of flicks it up from the waist and, you know, it caught Deontay Wilder on numerous occasions. And in the first sort of six, eight rounds, Tyson Fury was well in control. He was making Deontay Wilder miss and miss badly. Deontay Wilder throwing himself off balance, um, leaving himself open for various shots. Tyson Fury also was landing, you know, a couple of good right hands here and there. You know, he'll take a half step back let Deontay Wilder fall in and he would crack him with like a right hand down the pipe. You know, first six, seven, eight rounds, Tyson Fury was boxing really, really well. Deontay Wilder wasn't doing as badly as the BT commentary team was making out. A lot of these rounds were close because it was low volume and Deontay Wilder, you know, he did land a good couple of shots here and there. You know, there's a couple of left hooks uh, from what I remember that caught Fury. Uh, Wilder also landed a couple of good stiff jabs. You know, he had some success in the first six, seven, eight rounds, but Tyson Fury was the guy who was on top. Again, making Deontay Wilder miss most of his shots and, you know, just kind of messing Deontay Wilder around and outboxing him. Deontay Wilder should have remained more composed. You know, the, the more Wilder missed, the more he swung and, you know, he was throwing himself off balance. And he was making himself look stupid at times. When Wilder actually, you know, threw a jab, um, a stiff, uh, quick jab, you know, those shots at times were getting through. Also, when he was throwing the right hand straight and not looping it, you know, that shot was sometimes getting through as well. I think Deontay Wilder really lost his composure in this fight. But round nine, the power of Deontay Wilder shows through. Uh, Tyson Fury kind of dips. And Wilder catches him with a right hand on the side of the head kind of area. And it drops Tyson Fury. I don't think Tyson Fury was badly hurt here. You know, it just kind of knocked him off balance and messed up his equilibrium for a bit. But Fury beats the count and actually, you know, finishes the round fairly strong. Uh, in round 10, you know, Fury really responded well from getting knocked down. Uh, landed a couple of good right hands, boxing really well. Landed a series of jabs, um, you know outboxing Wilder again. Round 11, more of the same, you know, Tyson Fury in control, um, popping his jab, moving, making Wilder miss, landing the odd right hand here and there. Um, and in round 12, man, Jesus Christ, uh, Deontay Wilder lands a lovely right hand down the pipe, catches Tyson Fury on the chin. Tyson Fury is falling, and as he's falling, Deontay Wilder also lands a left hook. At this point, it looks like Tyson Fury is out cold spilker style you know he's out on the floor not moving for about four or five seconds then all of a sudden you know he has this surge of energy where he just gets up like the undertaker and you know he beats the count and i'll get onto that in a minute by the way but you know fury beats the count and he comes back at wilder you know it looked like wilder punched himself out and fury finished that round strong he actually hurt deontay wilder in this round i think it was with like a sneaky right hook maybe and he really finished that round strongly after getting dropped hard. You know, he showed his spirit in that round, no doubt about it. Um, and, you know, the fight ends. Tyson Fury gets to the final bell. And it is judged a draw. Now, I felt Tyson Fury won this fight. First time I watched it, I felt this was a downright robbery. But I did watch it again, and I have to say, I don't think a draw is inconceivable. I think a Deontay Wilder win is inconceivable, but a draw, I don't think that is totally out of the question. So, for example, you know, Wilder had the two knockdown rounds, and also I think you could have argued he won round two, and I 
think it was round four. I, I, I don't have my notes here, but there were a couple of rounds that were low volume. Neither guy really did much. Um, but Wilder, you know, you could have argued he won those rounds. So I don't, I don't think a draw is inconceivable. I do think a Deontay Wilder win is, you know, very unrealistic in my opinion. I was okay with the draw card. I was happy with the card that had Fury winning, but the, the judge who had Wilder 115-111 up, you know, that's a terrible scorecard as far as I'm concerned. Don't, I, I don't know what that judge was watching. Needs to get his eyes tested. Um, shocking scorecard as far as I'm concerned. So the judging in this fight is going to come under scrutiny, but I don't think a draw is inconceivable. I've got to be honest, I did have Fury winning, but yeah, I'm not mad at a draw, to be quite frank. One other thing that needs to be mentioned is the knockdown in round 12. I felt Tyson Fury got a lot of time to recover. The count was slightly long, but after when he actually beats the count, Jack Reese gave Fury a lot of time to recover. A lot of time to recover. And I'm not saying Deontay Wilder would have taken him out. But, you know, Wilder is a good finisher. And, you know, maybe that made a difference. I don't know. But, you know, Tyson Fury got a bit of luck in round 12. No doubt about it. However, when the fight ended, I felt he did enough to win the fight. Again, I really, really enjoyed this fight. Where do both guys go from here? Obviously, the most natural, you know, option is the rematch. The rematch will definitely do good business after the first fight. So that's always out there. But what I would like to see, I would still like to see Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua square off in April. Tyson Fury fights somebody else in the interim. And then Fury fights the winner of Joshua Wilder. That's what I would like to see happen. Whether it does or not. I don't know, but that is what I'd like to see happen. And again, I wouldn't have a problem with a rematch. The first fight was very good, and um, and yeah, I'll definitely watch it again. How did Tyson Fury look in this fight? I've got to be honest, I felt going into it he wasn't ready, and maybe, just maybe, he might even be shot after all the time he's had out and what he's done to his body. But to his credit, he looked very good. I don't think it was a prime Tyson Fury, I still think he's a little bit off from what he was back in 2015. You know, I think that was like an 80% version of that Tyson Fury. Um, but regardless, you know, still an elite level fighter. But I don't think the reactions were quite as sharp as they used to be. And also down the stretch, I think Fury was tiring in this fight as well. And, you know, Fury back in the day was always viewed as having a really good gas tank. But in the last few rounds in this fight, I felt Fury did noticeably slow down in regards to his footwork but uh, I'm sure that can be ironed out as he you know remains active well hopefully anyway and also by the way Deontay Wilder in this fight he was tiring as well and it was because he was missing so wildly you know he is loading up and missing badly when you load up and miss it really does expend a lot of energy you lose a lot more energy if you load up and miss than if you load up and actually hit the target you know and I think because because De uh, Deontay Wilder was missing so so regularly, you know, it gassed him out towards the end of a fight. But, you know, he does carry his power. But in certain instances, you know, I felt Wilder, when he needed to put on the pressure, he couldn't follow up effectively because he was gassed. You know, like round 12 and round 9, for example, you know, he didn't really follow up like he usually does. But, yeah, all in all, a really, really good fight. I'm kind of disappointed in the decision, but I can conceivably see a draw for Wilder but that is best case scenario I think all all things fair you know in regards to the scorecards Tyson Fury should have won this fight in my opinion and you know that is testament to how good Fury is or was because again I don't think that was the best version of Tyson Fury I really don't but anyway really good performance from Tyson Fury he surprised the hell out of me and I hold my hands up and say I was totally wrong about this and also by the way credit to Deontay Wilder you know there are, there were times in this fight where he got made to look silly but to Deontay Wilder's credit you know he carried on fighting he carried on trying and he didn't give up you know a lot of lesser fighters would have felt sorry for themselves after a few rounds you know when you're getting clowned when you're getting made to look silly a lot of fighters out there would really lose their rag lose their composure and you know and basically capitulate look at Billy Joe Saunders versus David Lemieux 
Lemieux in that fight just totally lost it and, you know, he was just um, made to look a fool. But Deontay Wilder, you know, he, he stayed there throughout and he was looking for that big right hand all the time, man. And, um, yeah, he deserves credit as well because I felt, despite him getting outboxed, despite him looking clumsy, despite him looking very beatable at times, I, I, I did feel he showed a really good champion's heart. So credit to Deontay Wilder and credit to Tyson Fury. Thoroughly good fight, really enjoyed it. Share your thoughts below. Peace.